Hello, everybody. Where, where's the lens on this thing? I'm trying to look at you, but I keep looking at something else. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. Hope this finds you well. A lot of troubles and things happening in the world. Always has. Always will. Kind of have to get used to it. You know, it's it's hard when we've all had it's so easy in this country. We look at our own hardships. It's hard for us to recognize that we got it easy compared to most of the world. I don't know about you, but I'm weary of politics. I'm so sick of it. In fact, that's all anyone talks about since the last election. It becomes so tribal. That's what politics is, tribal. Everything's tribal. What tribe do you belong to? The tribe I belong to doesn't believe the government has the answers. But there's no political solution to human problems. Those are tribal answers. Their tribe against everybody else's tribe. Which tribe's in charge? That's what politics is about. Which tribe's in charge? Doesn't matter right or wrong good or bad, morality, it's all out the window, all fair, it's all fair in the game of politics, character assassinations, the outright lies by both parties against the others, the press, one party controlling the press, the media, the other party seems to have a big following on the platform such as this. I get sick of it. Life's complicated enough as it is. Governments aren't here to help you. They're not here to help anybody. Government. Government serves government. What is government? It's basically the control of the populace. It's control of you. Control of your life. Control of everything about you. The least government is the best government. Those who govern least govern best. Those who feel the need to make laws about everything. Law about this, law about that. They're control freaks. They're the ones that believe the government should dictate to us. The government should be the arbiters of morality. <coughs> it's like putting a bank robber in charge of the banks. And the bankers are robbers. They don't rob banks, they rob populace through uh, high interest, increasingly high cost of living, constant fiat money, currency. The more they, the more they print, the less it's worth. You end up having to give everybody raises. Well, you have to raise the price of everything else again. And you end up in a vicious cycle. It's all debt. Money is debt. Money is debt. In a fiat currency system. That's why they rake up so much debt. It's money to them. Your money. I've got the shakes.
It's your money. It's your heart. You know, a constant attack on our freedoms, our right to speak, our minds. What is hate speech? Who defines it? I'll tell you that if offensive speech is not allowed, there is no free speech. Because the truth is oftentimes offensive to those trying to spread lies. If you're so easily offended by things, perhaps you should stay out of it. Stay out of the conversation, the debate. If you don't like other people's opinions that differ from yours or disagree with you, I welcome the opponent's opinion in my videos. As long as they're civil about it, if they attack the message but not the messenger, I'm fine with that. Once they try to defame the messenger, well, they've already lost their argument. Because it's hard to defame someone who's already humble from the crap he's done in his life. Yeah, I've done a lot of bad things in my life. If you search hard enough, you'll find them. Now show me where those actions take away from the words. Of course, my actions now speak louder than my words. You know, a person can say all sorts of things. You know what they really believe by their actions. I own my words. I might not always be right. I'm willing to accept that. I'm willing to accept criticism. How else am I going to know if what I'm saying is right? How else can I be tested by it? That's what debate's about. It's not about trying to find a winner or a loser or make someone out to be an idiot or not. Debating's about trying to find the truth of a matter. What truth is there in a matter? Let us debate it, let us argue it, let us find that we're not using our own cognitive dissonance, our own narcissism, or our own tyrannical wish to control things, be in charge. Let the free market of ideas be weighed in the scales. of open conversation. If your idea has to silence the opponent, the opposition, then you're on the wrong side of history, my friend. If you think the only way you're going to get your way heard is to shut the other person up, then your argument's failed. You want your beliefs to be right. We all do. We all think we're right. But most of us are wrong about some things. We can only view things from our own lens, from our own perspective. When you listen to people, and really listen to people that disagree with you, listen to them as if though they might know something you don't. Chances are they do because they've had a different experience than you. But on the other hand, you want your way to be respected. What you say to be respected. You have to respect the opinions of others. Sorry my hand's so shaky, people. It's a chill in the air this morning. Have a good night, good day, wherever you are.
peace be with you.